hey y'all welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to show you guys how i did this beautiful pink set the color acrylic that i'm using today is from ijel beauty and i think the color is called creep creed or creep or something like that um i really when i was a beginner i brought a whole bunch of ijel beauty um acrylics and i didn't really like it but these this color right here was actually the only good color i actually got that I actually liked it i'm not trying to say that they have nothing but bad colors me personally my experience when i did get the um acrylic from them they had a sale and it was like five dollars i jumped on it i brought like over a hundred acrylic powders and out of all of them i found only like two colors that i actually liked it that didn't marble majority majority of them had marble and i didn't like that so that's why i don't too much use the colors but if I have a client that come and they find the, the color that they like and it's from IJ Beauty, of course I'm going to use it because I'm not going to waste my money. Don't be like me and trying to, you know, go ahead with a cheaper brand and just buy a whole bunch of acrylic from them. When you want to try a new acrylic brand, I recommend, if you never tried it before, I recommend that you buy at least two colors, a light color and a dark color and see how it works first before you buy a whole bunch of acrylic from them the brush i'm using is from panna it's on amazon and it's a size 22 i only use this brush when i'm doing long or extra long nails so when i place my bead i like to put it on a free edge where the natural nail and the fake nail meets and then i place it the first thing I do is start cleaning the side walls and keeping my shape so the acrylic can go down. You have to make sure you're holding your client nail down so the acrylic can move down. If you have their nail up, your acrylic is not going to move anywhere. So you don't want to keep on pressing down your acrylic and causing any dents. Just let the acrylic flow down. When you place that cuticle bead, you want to make sure you're not placing it too close where you're flooding it. All I do is literally push my the tip of my brush into the cuticle area and pat it down so it can flow. And I make sure I keep cleaning around the edges and on around the cuticle area. That's very important so you won't have any lifting. If you notice in this video, I'm going to keep on cleaning the sides of the nail. You have to do that because you want to keep the shape of your nail. That's how you get a crispy shape in your flawless application. You have to make sure you keep on cleaning the sides of the nail and keeping your shape. And when you're laying down your beads, you want to make sure you keep looking at the nails. Move your client hand around to the side, up, down, just so you can make sure you don't have any dents. The application is very smooth. I know you guys I was supposed to drop this video on Friday but I was so busy like I had too much clients between Thursday and Friday but you know I have met my goal you guys I have 200 subscribers I'm so happy I am so grateful 
and I'm going to constantly keep on posting you guys. I'm not going to just leave y'all right there. I'm just going to give you guys more content, content, content. And you guys, please follow my Instagram and TikTok because I do post on there before I edit my videos. So more than likely, any set that I do is going to go on TikTok and Instagram first and then I'll edit the video. I don't know sometimes when I'm doing long nails or short nails mostly on short nails too I'll lay my acrylic bead sideways and then let you know pat it down and stuff I feel like it's a lot easier sometimes when I'm doing around the cuticle area of course I do it the opposite way but I, I put the acrylic bead straight but doing it sideways sometimes it helps it works good for me so if you're struggling with laying your acrylic, try to lay it sideways and see if that helps your nail flow, the acrylic flow down for you easy. And of course, I'm using my 8080 grit nail file from Panna. It's on Amazon. And like I always say, you wanna shape underneath the nail and then on the sides because a lot of time people will forget to shape underneath the nail and you don't have a, a crispy shape. To get that crispy shape, you have to shape underneath the nail to take off any extra acrylic. So that is very important to do. Take off the extra acrylic that's on the side of the nail so you can have a straight square or a, a straight shape. 
And I don't know if it's just me, but when I be doing these voiceovers, I be feeling like I'm talking so aggressive and like my voice is so loud. I talk naturally loud. Like I always be yelling and screaming. That's me. If anybody know me, that's me. I'm always going to be talking loud and I'm going to be screaming. But when I be doing these voiceovers, I'm like, I hope they don't think I'm just this mean girl. Because I'm really not, I'm not a mean person. Like, I'm real cool, but my voice be sounding so hard. But doing these voiceovers have really took me out of character. Because I was too shy in the beginning. But now I feel like I'm just talking to normal people. Like, we having a whole conversation. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm not talking to myself at first. I feel like, oh my God, I feel so stupid. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Like, oh my God. But now I'm I'm getting used to it. I've been doing it for seven days straight. So, um, well, not seven days straight, but it's about to be seven days on Sunday. So I feel like I'm doing a lot better than my very first video. And you guys don't be afraid to leave a comment like comment down below what are you guys ideas like what do you guys want to see like talk to me in the comments like really have a talk back to me now i really would love you guys feedback like tell me i don't know why i keep saying like like i keep on saying like 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 oh my gosh but yeah tell me what y'all want to see what what's you guys feedback how am i doing on these voiceovers with the nails you know talk talk back to me i really would really appreciate it like i'm not a shy person and i always comment back i always answer any questions i just had somebody dm me the other day asking me questions and i helped them so i'm i'm not that type of person i'm really a really nice person so if you ever need help with something comment down below or dm me if you're too scared to comment dm me and i'll try to do a video on whatever you need help with this bit i'm using is on my amazon storefront it's called the i think it's the panna i think it's from panna as well it's a five in one nail bit if you go on amazon you type in five in one nail bit i'm pretty sure this will be the first one that pop up but i love this bit because it's easy to debulk the nails down and you can seal the cuticles
I'm using my sanding bit just to smooth out the nail and make sure I clean underneath the nail to take off any extra acrylic that I didn't take off with the drill or the nail file. Now I'm just going to be adding bling around the cuticle area. I'm using my McCart rhinestone glue and you can find these gems that I'm using. The bling that I'm using is on Amazon or you can get them off AliExpress. I just put the bigger bling in the middle and then I just go to the medium size then I go small. And of course, I'm using my LED flashlight just so I can make sure the bling doesn't move. And then once I'm done with the entire nail, I go ahead and make her put it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And I really didn't like how I put the like three big ones. So I did remove the two and then use just medium ones there.
and this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching please like and subscribe bye